Jason Kenny, thank you very much for joining us. Great to be here, Martin. Well, let's uh, let's look at this. I mean, most reports are, and correct me if I'm wrong, but most reports are having are, are basically saying that you have, in terms of delegate selection, in three weeks' time, the delegates will vote at convention. Delegate selection, you have uh, more than a thousand out of 1,200 delegates wrapped up to vote for you. Uh, people are saying that this is your race to lose. Is that how you see it? Well, we're feeling very confident, but we don't want to take anything for granted. Uh, I've been at this since July. Martin, uh, you know, I, I announced my intentions uh, in early July, left Parliament in September. I've been full-time pretty much on the campaign trail in the last 18 months, put 60,000 kilometers on my blue Dodge Ram pickup truck, uh, doing over 650 events. I think we've met over 25,000 people, and we've, we've done very, we feel like we've elected the vast majority of the delegates, but it's not over till it's over. And there is a group of ex officio automatic superdelegates um, who are a little harder to track, but if our supporters show up, uh, we're feeling very confident. This is a race. I mean, for people from outside of Alberta, we've just seen the headlines. We saw the headlines of two people dropping out, two women candidates dropping out in November, one of them crossing to the NDP, talking about bullying, intimidation. Uh, another candidate, Stephen Kahn, uh, dropped out last month saying that this is a hostile takeover by Jason Kenney of the party. How would you describe the atmosphere within the party right now? Uh, there have been instances in the party which have resisted your candidacy yeah. all the way until last week. Well, look, I'm, pr I'm proposing a pretty dramatic change, and some people are afraid of change uh, and have anxieties about it. I understand that. I knew that going into this, that there would be a significant resistance to the idea of uniting. The premise of my campaign, Martin, is that uh, we need to reunite the traditional free enterprise political family that fractured the PC party that governed Alberta under people like Peter Lougheed and Ralph Klein for the better part of four decades. But starting 10 years ago, that coalition fractured right in half, and one half of the uh, PC electorate and mm -hmm. activist base started their own party, the Wild Rose Party. They felt the PC party had left them for a whole lot of reasons, both in, in substance and style. So this is one of the reasons the NDP managed to win the last election with 600,000 votes, even though PCs and Wild Rose had about 800,000 combined, and federal conservatives won 1.2 million votes in the same year. So the premise of my campaign is to get a mandate from PCs to negotiate a, a unity agreement with my former colleague Brian Jean mm -hmm. on creating a new United, United Free Enterprise Party. Um, and, uh, and we think about three quarters or 80 percent of the grassroots progressive conservatives support this idea, but there is a cohort who are strongly opposed to it, and it, including all of the current and former other leadership candidates. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, what do you, if and when you win the leadership, I mean, I'm putting the big if there, um, what are you more concerned about within the progressive conservative party? Is it the so-called progressive who will walk away from the party? Is it the stalwart traditionalists, including, as you say, a lot of the MLAs and the other candidates uh, who all oppose uh, unity? Well, actually, uh, uh, I'm, I've been a bit pleasantly surprised with the breadth of support for the concept of reuniting the, the conservative family in Alberta. I have the support of the majority of the current PC caucus. Uh, I have the support of the vast majority of former MLAs. And I think the reason is because they remember the Wild Rose uh, people as their voters and, and supporters. Mm -hmm. I have the support of the, the, the vast majority of the youth wing, of the, um, uh, g the general PC electorate, the grassroots membership, and the delegates. So we have vast support for this idea, but there are people who disagree, and I respect their view. Um, and my my content, you know, my kind of commitment to them is this: if I get a mandate to negotiate a unity agreement with the Wild Rose Party, and we come to that agreement, we'll then let the membership decide. Okay. So, people, you know, this is really about empowering the grassroots membership of uh, the Conservative parties in Alberta to decide whether or not we reunite the family. Okay, well, let's look at that then. So, let's say you win the leadership of the, C of the PC party, and Brian Jean has, as you mentioned, said that he is open to discussions, that's his phrase. So, you start discussions. Uh, the polling is showing that uh, a party, a united party under Brian Jean, I've seen two polls that say that a united party under Brian Jean would be more uh, more popular than a united party under Jason Kenney. Uh, all that. the polls show that regardless of who the leader is, the united party Party would defeat the NDP by a substantial margin. And so just to be clear, Martin, what I'm proposing, a five-step plan, first of all, to get the PC party on a unity path mm -hmm. through this leadership on March 18, three, three weeks from now. If that happens and I get that mandate, negotiate the unity agreement. Thirdly, allow the members to decide on it in a referendum. Then, fourthly, set up the new party. Finally, 
I propose about a year from now that new party would elect its leader. And I hope it's not just Brian and I. I hope that we attract a lot of other really talented Albertans offering themselves for service. If someone's, someone else is elected, they'll have my total support. This thing, Martin, will only work if people like myself uh, and Brian, frankly, or if we're, if we're prepared to park our egos, and if all of us are prepared to park the labels, brands, and resentments that have accumulated over a decade of division in Alberta politics. So the unity agreement would include even just going down to basic policies? You would have to have a, a common policy statement yeah. that would be put to the members? My, uh, my view is it would probably be uh, roughly analogous to uh, the merger agreement of the Progressive, Conservative, and Canadian Alliance parties in 2003. Mm -hmm. And the five-point plan I've proposed is very much modeled on that successful merger process which took 10 months and was hugely successful it led to us being in office for 10 years nationally